Hello and welcome to Meanwhile. Hi there. Back on the hobby farm. Hey, we're doing a little uh, ER 101. See the redness and swelling on our roosters between the legs? It's not Bumblefoot because it's not completely swollen, but this is Uncle Henry. He's one of the, he is the oldest rooster that we had. We've had him for what, four years now? Four and a half years? Four and a half years. Anyway, He's been limping lately and his feet are regular, are really, really raw, as you can see. So, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Hopefully it's not going to fall. I have a bowl of Epsom salt here. And I am going to put Uncle Henry's feet in there for about 5 or 10 minutes. I'm going to do that for a couple days and then I'm going to be putting some medicine on there. It's, they're kind of cracked and dirty and... We, he's got a little bit of infection, so I am going to put some chicken antibiotics on that. We're going to put his feet in there. It's okay. There you go. It actually feels pretty good for them. I'm not going to put his stomach in there. It's warm water with Epsom salt. I put about half a cup of it in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold his legs down in there. And we've got some curious bystanders here. We've got Butch the goat. And while I was going to get Uncle Henry... Um, Savannah decided to come over and start drinking some of the Epsom salt, go figure. But anyway, this is Uncle Henry. He's one of our oldest chickens, rooster rather. His comb's kind of looking kind of there. So we're going to bring him back to health. We're going to give you an update in, in a couple of days. Well, probably about a week. He's just been limping and hasn't been walking around that much. We've got to get his foot in there. Actually, this feels really good. It's like if you or I were to take an Epsom salt bath. Like I said, we don't want to get his bottom in there if we have if we can help it because chickens can actually get hypothermia in the summertime uh, an example we had a downpour we got about an inch and a half of rain in about half an hour about an hour and a half ago and the chickens and the goats they all took off into cover except our turkey decided to stay outside with the ducks and got completely soaked and they're fine it's not going to kill them well, the turkey's more like a chicken than a duck, but for some reason, some turkeys love going underneath sprinkles and stuff. How you doing, Uncle Henry? Uncle Henry's very mellow. Um, once you hold them, especially at nighttime when they chicken roosters go, go blind in the dark, uh, they're very docile. You can pick them up. They're calm, cool, and collective. Or if you pick them up, uh, which is, a, I had to corner him inside the chicken coop, he's, uh, they're, they're pretty mellow. I said, I don't want his butt to get in there. Uh, we were very hot and muggy the last couple of days. We were 88 degrees today, extremely muggy. Kofra came through, so it's going to be cooler tonight. So we really don't want to, uh, we don't want to chill them. But, but like I said, it's uh, the water's pretty warm. How are you doing here, Uncle Henry? Does that feel good? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of massage my fingers in between his legs. They're kind of very raw, like I said. And I'm going to pick them up. Actually, I ran out. I call it the V-Biotics from Tractor Supply. The left leg is not as bad, except he's got a crack between the two toes here. So he, it's got to be, they call it scald, C-H-A-L-D. It's just like scalding hot if you were to burn your finger, if you put it on a hot stove. Well, that's, that's the feeling. It's a burning feeling. And um, burning is not a good sensation to have on any type of body, human or animal. Right, Uncle Henry? I'm going to take good care of my boy. I know. I don't want to get your butt completely wet in there. So what we're doing is we're gonna probably gonna do it again tomorrow morning. I can uh, the affordability uh, that I'm gonna be kind of doing a, a swing shift this week at work. So I'm gonna be able to spend a little bit more time during the early part of the day before I head out to make a living so I can afford these critters. But like I said, when you uh, you have a lot of animals, 81 critters, you tend to uh, learn and you can do a lot of these things that people would pay a vet to do too. And um, it's like anything else. I was on Facebook today and a lady in the area on the community page was looking for somebody to fix her stove. The, the heating element wasn't working. Wanted to know how much repairman cost and who to recommend and I'm like, Go on Amazon, you can get the heating element for $19.99. It'll take you about five minutes to put it in. You just learn, if you want to save money, do it yourself. If you money's not an issue and you've got plenty of time, hey, hire the professionals to do it. 
Um, we do. We we're bringing in our dog uh, Rambo. He's the one of the puppies from the last little last year. He's a year old. Is going to have surgery on his eyes. Um, we can't do it. <laughs> the vet's actually going to do one eye at a time. He's got to make a slit on the upper eyebrow and um, and stitch it up. Um, and we can't do that, obviously. But when an animal's uh, cut themselves, dogs cut themselves on their pads, uh, we clean it out. Um, we put antibiotics on it, and we use the uh, temporary stitches that dissolve on their own. It's okay, Uncle Andy. I got gotcha. you. I'm not going to let you fall in there and drown. Yeah, um, I bet you this feels really good for him right now. Um, he's uh, very, very raw. And it's not Bumblefoot. Bumblefoot would be quite the abscess-filled... Uh, uh, and Bumblefoot can actually kill chickens, and we call him a chicken even though he's a rooster, right? A you good boy? They're so calm, people are like, oh my gosh, if my daughter Lauren's watching right now, or son-in-law, Lewis, um, Uncle Henry used to attack them. Um, attacks a lot of people, everybody but me. Uh, but once you pick them up, they will not fight you, they will not, you know, they know you're, they're in your mercy. I mean, I'm not going to hurt this guy, he doesn't know that, but he's a good boy, yes. Yes, he's a good boy, huh? Yes. And I think that's part of when we got the turkey, um, Gilby Godfrey, last month. Um, he, um, oh no, it wasn't Gil, but it was, um, it was Wilma, Wilma the turkey. Uh, he decided he was, uh, Uncle Henry, he decided he was going to challenge him and show him who was uh, the leader of the pack. And um, it didn't work out very well. Uh, Wilma uh, buried his head in the ground and was stomping on him. And he didn't get away, and I thought it was, wow, is he giving up so soon? But uh, he may have started to begin the beginning of uh, his, his sore feet. You gotta get your foot in there, buddy. Keep your foot in there. We're gonna keep it in there. Things are going good. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Um, horses are doing great. We still have them over at the, uh, at the barn a couple miles up the road. The property's for sale. We're hoping the new owners um, will let us uh, continue to renting and board them there. If not, I have been cleaning the back 40 out again. <laughs> yeah, number five. Um, we cleaned it out a month ago with a backhoe and got rid of a lot of the, um, not all of it, but a lot of the um, uh, the pokeweed that'll kill goats and horses. Chickens, but chickens are pretty smart. They know not to eat it. Hi, how you doing, buddy? I know this doesn't feel good, does it? Yeah, it's extremely, extremely long. Well, I almost look like he's got sunburn on him. Um, so we're going to do this probably again tomorrow morning. I'll pick him up some uh, some medicine, and I think we're going to be good. And when I'm done over here, I'm going to dump this so these uh, nosy... Hey, Butch! Butch! Hey, Butch! So these goats don't decide to drink it. Hey, Butch! Can I have a kiss? Hey! Butch! Hey, Butch! Give me a kiss! Give me a kiss! Come on! Yeah, he's being stubborn over there. You can't see him, but he's just on my right. Uh, we had quite the storm. We had 50, 60 mile an hour winds. Uh, a lot of places in our county are without power. We've really lucked out ever since they trimmed the trees about three, four years ago. Uh, we used to lose the power when uh, when a rain would drop, would fall. I know. How's that feel? Pretty good, buddy? Huh? Yeah. I've had a lot of people tell me over the years, get rid of that rooster. He's no good. They want to kick him and kill him because he's so mean to them. And I try to educate people and tell them, you know, the job of a rooster is to protect the hens. He's the only rooster we've ever had. And, um, well, we had another one, but he was he was vicious to the other chickens and stuff. Uncle Henry is not mean at all to any of the other critters. Um, and uh, he takes care of his ladies very well. And, no, I wouldn't get rid of him because that's the job. Um, if there's a hawk flying above... Um, he will squawk and make noise, and they, where I'm sitting right now on this goat platform, they all go underneath there because the hawks won't, you know, or any other vultures won't uh, go underneath it. He warns them, and uh, that's his job. When a stranger comes in here and he doesn't know who they are and he starts coming after them, and he's got sharp spurs, and I know, I've, got, I've been the victim myself. First couple years, Uncle Henry used to beat the living crap out of me. Um, he got me actually about six months ago. I... And it was my own fault. I was picking up a hen that was going brody inside the uh, the goat barn. And as I was carrying it back, the hen was squawking. And Uncle Henry didn't like that. Somebody He thought somebody was hurting his, one of his girls. Came up from behind me, and he uh, got me with a spurs right on the foot. And uh, it swelled up, and uh, 
Hey, it's a soak and Epsom salt, just like I'm doing for you now, buddy. Yeah, but that's your job. I wouldn't hurt you. We love our animals. We have a lot of rescue animals. Um, our um, our goat that we can't see. I don't know where he is. Captain. Um, he's the one with the bad leg. His other leg is starting to give him a little bit of a hard time. Hey, but when I'm done here in a couple seconds here, I'm going to go show you to our... Uh, our new little chickens that we have. We have six of them. They were born. They belong to our barn lord where the horses are. They're moving. So um, I took them and had them in the basement nursery under a heat lamp for two weeks. And they just came out last night. And they are officially out in the chicken tractor. And uh, they're getting big. But they'll be in there probably for about another, I don't know, eight weeks minimum. So they can fend for themselves. Don't want They want to be big enough so that they can't get in between the... Uh, squares on the fence and also so they don't get um, attacked by the, um, the larger hens. And the fact that they have uh, some um, screening around there, the, the, the chickens all day long, they're curious. They want to see who's in there and that's good. Let them get used to each other. Hey Butch, can I, uh, can dad have a kiss over here? No. Butch, my kissing goat is not doing it. How you doing buddy? Okay, I think we're doing good here. Oh, I, I, I'd love to say it's not as red, but it doesn't happen that quick, buddy. Okay, so we're going to take him out of that. Ah, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Shh. It's okay, I know. We're going to dump this water. Hey, Butch! But uh, he is very nice and calm. His comb is a little bit, almost look like it's, it's all chapped and stuff. I'm going to put some bag bomb on that. Uh, once he's on the uh, roosting uh, bar for the night, and I'm gonna I'm gonna lubricate that up a little bit, and then I'm gonna actually I'm gonna put some uh, triple antibiotic on his uh, feet tonight too to kind of make him feel better until tomorrow's medicated stuff works. Huh? Look at those spurs, folks. Look at that spur on that foot. Look at that. See that right there? Right there. Those are what get you. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, girl? What's going on? Well, we'll go around here with this, and uh, let me uh, reverse this. You don't want to look at my ugly. Uh, it's not letting me turn this around now. We don't want to see my ugly puss. Um, it's not letting me turn this around, so I guess we'll go like this. All right, what do you think, Uncle Henry? Your feet feel better? I know. They hurt, I know. And you know what? I'm not even going to put you on here so you don't have to jump down. We're going to put you right on the ground, buddy. There you go. And we will uh, put him on the ground. A lot of this can be from muddy areas on the ground when they're in the mud too much. But uh, as you can see, he does, uh, see, he limps. He favors his right one more, and that's the one that's, the one that's mostly raw. I'm going to try to turn this, it's not letting me turn this around. For some reason, I'm not getting on the screen, so we're going to try to go look at these chicks in here right now, because I can't turn this camera around, and I have no idea why it's not on my... Uh, Not letting me, uh... Okay, they're all gonna scatter. And they're not even in. Oh yeah, they are in there. Hopefully you can see them. There's six of them in there. One of them is black. Two different uh, hens. Um, I integrated them with each other a week after. They were born a week apart, and then a few days after the last three were Hatched out. I'm sorry, they weren't a week apart. They're about two days apart. About a week later, I introduced them all together. Hi guys, how you doing in there? How's it going? What's the word? Still got the heat lit because they don't have. They're not fully feathered yet. Uh, I did shut it off today. So today was the first full day outside. So uh, I did have it off, but I turned it on right after thunderstorm because it's going to be cooler tonight. And we'll uh, we'll walk around over here, folks. And uh, I'm really disappointed that 
It's not letting me. Oh, wait a second. I got something that came up on the screen here. I'm trying to get rid of it. It's not letting me turn this around, so hopefully. Hey Santana, what's going on? Now he's curious. These these are very curious animals here. He's gonna check out that ball and he wants to know what that ball is about. That's new. How you doing, Santana? How you doing, buddy? Santana's the royal pain in the butt. Every time I go in to feed the chickens inside the coop, he has to crash the gate and try to eat it. What you doing, huh? We're going to come around and go look and uh, see Gilbert wants front row seat. He's going to sit. Yeah, look at Uncle Henry. He's still, uh, still limping. He's stretching that leg out. Definitely got to, uh, I'm going to put some antibiotic on it tonight. How you doing there, Gilbert? How you doing, buddy? How's it going? Gilbert usually purchases on this one here at nighttime. And then uh, his girlfriend, Wilma, goes up here. And, uh, oh, it is Wilma right there. Wilma's going, hey, Dad, it's feeding time. You should be locking us up about now. Hey, orphan cork, how you doing, buddy? It's our second rooster, the one that somebody abandoned and then dropped off in front of our house. Um, him and Uncle Henry, uh, look at, they're standing pretty close together and they pretty well leave each other alone. They, they know to uh, give each other space, but that's pretty close for these guys. But I definitely got to, uh, got, definitely got to work on that right foot over there. It's really red and raw. I'm going to take care of that one. And this chicken is pecking the other one in the butt. How you doing there, Orphan Cork? Why are you lifting up your leg like that? Don't tell me you got a problems. No, your legs look pretty good. How you doing there, Orphan Cork? Santana, how you doing, buddy? Why are you hiding from, why are you running from me? Yesterday, I brought these guys over. We had two different friends gave us a whole bunch of tree limbs. One gave us uh, pear branches that he trimmed, and another one gave us pine, and over half of them are gone. We're going to come over and see if we can get Butch to give me a kiss for the camera. Hey Butch, hey Butch, hey Butch, hey, I want kisses. Hey, hey, I want kisses. He usually gives me kisses without me having to uh, hold his head. Hey Santana, how you doing buddy? How you doing? How you doing buddy, huh? How you doing? How you doing? Huh? Hey, how you doing there, Simon? How you doing? Hi. Hey, give me kisses. How you doing, buddy? Love my critters, I'm telling you. The more people I meet, the more I love my critters. Look at the jockeying. You know, you get this big rack, but they got to fight for the what they feel is the best vantage point. How you doing there, Captain? How's that other leg doing? Actually, it's a little bit better, actually. He was dragging his hole behind the other day, and I've been massaging him every day. And um, he's getting better. I think his leg got out of the socket, and I think it's from when I feed them. He lays down low, and I feed him low, and the other one's on the top. And I think somebody jumped on him. Hey, can I have a kiss? Hey, can I have a kiss? Hey, hey, but get the hey, hey, how about me? You know what I need to do? I need to put some down here. But Captain, because he's having a hard time. Captain, here you go, buddy. There you go. Yeah. You guys are spoiled. Hey, where's my kisses? Hey, where? Hey, where's my kisses? <laughs> you little stinker. Hey, Santana's a good boy, huh? Okay, it's time to lock up these chickens, and I'm going to show you, and hopefully, I've got an egg here on the ground. Hopefully, I'm not too far off on this camera here because when you do video, it does it closer up than a, than a regular one. I'm going to show you how we get these chickens in at nighttime. Chickens do not like water. I do not get them wet. I don't want them getting 
pneumonia and dying, even though it's still probably 80 degrees out of 75. What we do is we go like this. We just go like this. Get in there, guys. Come on, orphan cock, get in there. Come on. Got a couple of loose chickens in there. We'll get them out of there. We're missing two ducks. And I don't know where they are. We gotta. Hey, get in there. Hey. Hey, get out of there. We are missing uh, Betty and Pebbles. Hey, orphan cock, get in there. And they won't be in here. They won't go in the toilet seat one. They don't want to. Hey, get get in get get in there. Get in there. All right. What I'm gonna do? Hopefully they'll come when I start feeding them. I'm gonna lock these guys in here. How you doing, guys? And I may may and not end up using this video because everything is so magnified and it's only on the number one setting. Hey guys. Hey, where's your buddies? Where's your buddies? Let me go find your buddies here. I got a feeling they're in the goat barn. So we're gonna go check out the goat barn and see if we can uh, Find uh, Pebbles and uh, Betty. They were out during the rainstorm. They're not out here. And I bet you they are in here. Check out these doors I got. Oh, we got four ducks in here. Hey, they're finally hanging out with each other. They didn't hang around with each other for the longest time. Pebbles, the white one there, would attack anything that went near them, and she's fi he's finally calming down. Look at his face. I am getting a, uh, a male duck at the end of the week because uh, Betty over there, the runner, the Indian runner that walks like a penguin, has been um, very frisky and wanting some action, so she keeps on trying to court uh, Wilma the turkey and bites his neck, her neck. Hey, check out these doors I got. I'm going to be putting those up in a few weeks. Sliding door. Isn't that awesome, folks? I'm going to put some plexiglass over them for the winter. They're going to be blocked up here. We'll be in good shape. Okay, we're going to get these four stragglers in there. Looks like the goat, uh, the uh, ducks are all hanging out with each other now. It wasn't that way the first couple of weeks. Hey, boys, you still enjoying that, hey? You too, young lady. You too, Tennille. Come on, guys. No, 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 no. Yeah, there you go. I don't even know if I got this thing right. There you go, guys. All right, watch this. These two are going to go to the left. And the other two, oh, the other two can't go in there. I shut the door on them. I'm a knucklehead. He's looking to get in there. And he's like, wait a second, I can't get in there, Dad. So what I'm going to do... I'm wondering if I can keep those ducks out here with them tonight. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try keeping those ducks out there. I haven't done that yet. I haven't kept all four ducks together. I'm going to put this down as I feed them. Hey guys, can I keep all four ducks together tonight with the turkeys? Okay, so I feed him in three different spots because Gilbert Godfrey over here is very possessive of his food. He does not like sharing. Oh, we got a problem here. We've got a problem. 
we have knock it off another frisky female pebbles is going after Gilbert now and it was the last few days it was this troublemaker over here hey knock it off he's going after the turkeys but now um, the Indian runner Betty is leaving Wilma alone the pebbles the puffball head will not leave. Yeah, you let get get out of there, get. I'm gonna beat your butt. Leave him alone. It's three times his size. Hey, knock it off! You're gonna go into lockup by yourself tonight. No, you. I'm gonna go into lockup by yourself, dirty face. Stop being mean. Guess what? Tomorrow. Guess what I'm gonna do tomorrow? You and your bratty friend over there, Betty, are gonna be in here all day by yourself. Yep. You wanna be nasty like that? You're gonna be. You're gonna be segregated. You're gonna be. You're going. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. Your face is dirty, you're being a bully, and I don't like it. You understand? So guess what? I'm going to go feed uh, Betty. Uh, I'm going to go feed... Uh, I'm going to go feed him up here. Because you're being a bully, and I don't like it. Stop being a bully. You understand? I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to pick up Gilbert, put him up here, see if I can put his bowl up there so he can eat up there. Hey, that's it, folks. Take care. Have a good day. Welcome to the Funny Farm.